Assalamu alaikum, this is Ahmed Qureshi and thank you for joining me for part two of my blog on being a professional accountant. Like I said before, even if you're contemplating joining another profession or if you're part of another profession, this video may still be useful for you. So please uh, stay and watch for a while. So in the previous video, if you have not seen that in this series, I have talked about your life as a professional and what it is that uh, defines success for you. With all these things, we have covered it. So in case you haven't seen that video, I suggest you stop, go and watch that one first, the part one of this series, and then join me for the second part. Anyway, let's continue now. So I'm going to pick up from where I left off last time. We're going to talk about your life as a professional accountant and what does it actually entail. Firstly, when you join a profession, join karte hai, be it accountancy or something else, it's important that you set your expectations in a realistic way. A lot of people have expectations that in the first year, they will become a partner or a manager in the second year. So there is a process. There is a process for promotions and so on. It takes time. Lagta hai. So you must have realistic expectations. And the second point is that the professional qualifications are important. They are extremely useful. Jo Pakistan mein, the CEA qualifications are very well regarded. Once you qualify as a chartered accountant, you have chances of a very successful, profitable, uh, and financially rewarding career as well. So the qualifications jo hai, they are extremely valuable, and you need to work very hard towards achieving your qualifications, first of all. Qualifications jab ek dafa ho jati hain, and one of the things that I notice in Pakistan is ke ek dafa koi chartered accountant ban jata hai, ya koi aur profession join kar leta hai, then that they seem to be in a set and forget mode. They think ke bas sab maine sara kuch apna jo padna tha, pad liya, I have achieved everything. But there is no stopping as far as learning is concerned. You must become a lifelong learner. Yani ke someone jo sara baat nayi cheeze seekta ho. Or just tezi se accounting profession may change RAE hai, so you need to constantly upskill, upgrade yourself. So, CA banne ke baad bhi bohat sari opportunities hai for further studies. You can do an MBA to become a better, uh, more holistic kind of manager, which could then hopefully help you uh, towards a senior management position. You could become CEO of an organization. Agar aapke paas accounting qualification ho, uske saath MBA ho, so that's a very, very good qualification. You can go and specialize in specific areas like cyber security, which is an, a growing area. Usme aap ja sakte hain. So itni sari opportunities aapke paas hain, but you need to continuously and regularly upskill yourself. And I'm not talking about the regular professional development, jo uh, professional bodies aapke liye mandate karti hain anyway. That has to be done. Another key aspect of becoming a successful professional is to have a good mentor. Mentor is someone who gives you good advice de with your personal and with your only your interests at heart. Someone you trust, someone who will give you unbiased advice and someone who will challenge you from time to time. And if they feel bad about them, then remember, mentor ka kaam hai to actually always give you unbiased advice in a candid sort of way. So, kabhi kabhi shayad aapko baat buri lage, but it is essentially going to help you in your career. Let's talk about uh, reflections from my personal point of view ab tak jo hua hai. So, jab maine university se graduate kiya tha, my first job was in Australia at the Commonwealth Bank. And while I always wanted to join an accounting firm, us waqt mujhe ek accounting firm mein a job nahi mili. But thankfully, as soon as I started working at the bank, uh, the Commonwealth Bank of Australia, jo hai, one of the, the largest bank actually, I started my job Deloitte, Canberra, Australia, mein, a job offer ho gai, and I lasted only six weeks in the bank, which, uh, and then I started working in the profession. I joined the profession. Profession has its ups and downs. There's a lot of challenges, or jo professional period hota hai jis mein aap qualifications wera kar rahe hote hain that is actually quite difficult australian system is different from pakistan but it is nonetheless quite challenging and quite difficult but if you work hard and you persevere and hopefully you actually end up succeeding and i also did uske baad jab main firms mein kaam kar chuka tha bahut arsa to i decided ke i would like to start my own firm 
which is what I did. At the age of 27, I established my own accounting firm uh, with a very small client base. And uh, with passage of time, with God's grace, with God's help, the firm grew to the point where I was able to sell it for a reasonably substantial amount of money and then moved on to the next phase of my life. Or well, the next phase of my life saw me changing my profession from being a typical accountant um, who's involved in helping businesses, uh, helping people with their taxes, to becoming a consultant, becoming a trainer, and for a short time, a faculty member at a university as good and as prestigious as Lam Chidamai Parhatata. So over time, I have pivoted and developed my profession. I ended up writing books about business, finance, uh, leadership, and so on. This is why my career has changed hota hi hai as I've gone along. Since I was talking about the books, here is an example of some of the books that I've written, Making Money in Small Business, The A to Z of Healthy Small Business, Leadership Insights, Succeeding in Your Own Business, Tax and Financial Planning for Young Professionals, just some of the books. And one of the pri proudest moments was when my book, uh, A to Z of Healthy Small Business, was published in India, and I was able to go there as well. With this, I have uh, had a lot of success on uh, media. You may have seen me on PTV, on uh, Business Plus, uh, on other channels as well, where I've done a variety of work, which has given me a lot of joy. And one of the things I still like to do is to help young people. I mentor, coach, and guide mentor, uh, young people, both in Australia, Pakistan, wherever I happen to be. And this is something which gives me a lot of uh, joy and satisfaction. And uh, training and development is another area that I have a lot of passion for. So what I'm wanting to get across to you is that you have accounting qualification, achieve kar lete hain. that's not the end. You can still reinvent yourself. You can still go into different areas. You can practice different uh, types of um, roles within organizations. You can be a CFO. You can be a partner in an accounting firm once you've reached a certain level. You can work. Uh, as part of a management team. So you have a lot of opportunities. But that's only possible once you have a basic qualification, key qualifications like chartered accountancy, which is why you can go further in your career. Well, I hope this has been useful. And if you have any questions, please send me a message through YouTube and I'll get back to you. Until next time, take care. Khuda Hafiz.